Hi and welcome. This is my first uh, first commentary I'm going to do. Taking out the P61 in this game. Uh, I have some friends that have really enjoyed doing their YouTube channels about War Thunder, and I figured, well, I think I can bring something interesting to the table and just kind of do regular, average games that I have. Sorry about aiming at that guy. I wasn't going to shoot him. I just wanted to make sure he. Uh, didn't have guns on me. I get a little paranoid about that, so. Uh, let's keep going into the game. Now I'm going to start to uh, really look here in a few seconds. I spotted Doc here. I couldn't necessarily tell if it was a bomber or not, so I. Uh, not quite yet. I see a couple more diving. I'm pretty sure those aren't two 6.4s, just based off of the speed that they're diving at, so I, I kind of ignore them for now. I think it takes about three t two, three, fours to really mess you up in a game, win a game on tickets. I'm not positive. I haven't flown this BR too much lately, and uh, could be the case it's only three, could take four. I'm not sure, so uh, regardless, I leave them alone. I don't care to lose that much altitude off the beginning of the game just to kill a couple of bombers. Uh, I'm trying to judge how far out this bomber is just by looking at him. He looks fairly far away. Uh, not sure what I'm doing here. I'm just trying to show off the terrible depression of this gun. You can kind of see how, uh, yeah, right there. There's a real hard limit on how far you can depress the gun. Really limits how, how well you can use your defensive turrets in this thing. That's why... I prefer personally the 410A1. It's just a, I think it's better all overall plane. Uh, maneuverability, mm, they're probably close to each other. The 410 maybe has an edge at the low end just because this thing is quite a bit bigger and quite a bit heavier than that, but it's, it's pretty darn close. Uh, and yeah, the guns on the 410, you can shoot almost below you, which is really nice even though they're German 13 millimeters they almost do nothing so it, it's still nice to be able to shoot some warning shots and potentially scare someone off your six where they lose enough speed to where you may be able to reset uh, I spot another dot here he looks like a fighter he looks like he's diving for now he pulls back up here in a couple seconds and it's a 109 I don't I don't like pushing head-ons with 109s at this BR, mostly because I notice a lot of them bring gun pods and they love to commit to the head-on just to get one kill. And I'm trying to judge what he's going to do. I shoot some shots off just to try to scare him off and I just can't get that shot in time. Uh, keyboard can't pull that hard. <laughs> uh, I see a big group over here. I also spot that G55 and I don't want him diving on me. So I'm going to head over to this group and see what I can do from here. I'll also take some pot shots with the 50 cals. I'm not very good at turret shooting. I do get a hit here. Uh, oh, maybe I don't. I thought I did. I guess not. Uh, yeah, I'm not too experienced with shooting defensive guns. Uh, or turrets in this case. Um, just don't spend a lot of time in bombers or planes that have the defensive guns. I do have a fair amount of time in the 410A1, but uh, not enough to make a difference really on my aim with the gunners. Uh, here I see, I saw that big group earlier. I'm debating whether or not to push those two down on the B25. I see another dot over there diving. He's moving pretty quick. And here I make a decision to uh, abandon that B25. I'm not sure what he's doing, so I'm gonna leave him alone. He dies right there pretty quick. Uh, so those two are left deciding whether or not they want to RTB or head back in. I see that 109 is climbing out, but the 190 looks like he's going to turn back in and head into this area. I don't really see him for the rest of the game. I'm not sure what those two did. <laughs> Maybe they crashed. I don't know. There's a fair amount of them left, and so I don't want to really get too committed, but I'm going to try to start taking planes out of the game because if I don't take them out, my team will die, and... Uh, carrying in the P61 isn't all that easy, and so I, I really need to start taking taking some of their team out. Uh, I'm looking around just to make sure I'm not going to get dove on by any stray planes I didn't catch. 
closing on this 109. I'm really hoping he's not going to dive, but here in a couple seconds. Yeah, there he goes. He's going to go dive. I was hoping he was going to climb and I could like pursuit and get some long range shots on it, but that's not going to happen. So now I'm looking around, seeing if there's anything more at my altitude. I know that 190 it looked like he was not diving, may have been climbing, but I, I don't spot him. There I spot a C C205. It's probably a Series 3. I'll find out later in the game. So I, I really don't want him dancing with me at this altitude. So I'm going to go dive, help that Spitfire out. And maybe if I save him in time or help him out to where he has enough speed to help me out later on in the game. Uh, at this point, I don't want to commit to that dive, and the Spitfire's on a 6, so I, I don't dive at this time. I, I reassess, and I look for the 205 again. Uh, look, looking around, making sure I, I know where everyone is so I can make an informed decision on what I need to do next. See that that P61 has another guy on him, but I'm not wanting to dive, especially at the speed. I'll just compress and have to use my air brake and just... Lead a lot of energy and a lot of speed. P61 gets a guy here. Uh, that's good. I should have dove earlier, realistically. I was more concerned about what that 205 was doing. And as a result, this P61 uh, gets a good chunk, chunk taken out of him. And I can see, can see something fly off, and I think he goes into the water. Yeah, there he goes. <laughs> Sorry, man. Uh... 109's under me, I'm trying to bleed off a little speed so I can get onto a 6 and get some shots off. A little careful here, this thing locks up a little bit at speed, but I'm on a 6, and he's out. Uh, here I need to make a quick decision on whether or not I think that Spitfire can handle this situation on his own. I take a quick look up, I zoom in, that 109's going to get his guns on me, so I take a shot and I pull off really quick so he can't get guns on me. Uh, may have stole that kill. Uh, I, I'd rather it be that way than he clips my wing, manages to loop over on that Spitfire, and then both of us are out of the game. I see the 205 diving at this point. I'm checking to see how many they have left on their team, so I know how how uh, how much maneuvering I can realistically do against this 205 before I can expect someone to close in. He's diving pretty hard. Uh, all I really need to do is loop under him, and I try to pull up, yeah, he pulled a little bit harder than I was expecting, gets a couple shots on me, that's okay, I'm going to try to pull up into him and get guns on, this thing is a little bit of a brick here, no, no dice, he's not moving, which is surprising, and I, I knock something off, nothing really critical, it could have stalled there, but, you know, there you see the 109 closing in, and there's only so much I can do for that Spitfire there. I try to hop on my gunners as quick as I can, but he's not getting saved. There's nothing really I could have done at that point that wouldn't have killed myself. And so I'm extending out and I'm trying to spray it down a little bit to help out that P61. The C205 looks like he's RTB. I don't know what I took off of him, but... Clearly it wasn't enough because he's still flying. He's going back to base fine. I turn to help the P61. I see that he catches on fire. And so I pull off. There's no point in me trying to turn fight with a 109 right now. Uh, P61's relatively maneuverable for the size of plane it is, but no chance he gets a 109. I'm trying to get him to slow down because at this rate he may be able to get close enough to get shots on me. Seems kind of... Uh, determined to get some guns on me. He dives out. I also dive because at this point, the, the depression of the P-61 gunner really uh, shows off its weak point here. You have to basically be, they have to be above you for you to be able to shoot. So here, I'm not sure what he's doing here. I get a couple hits on him, I think here, or just one. Uh, extend out. I don't know why he did that. He probably could have closed that gap enough to get shots off, but he decided to pull off. So I'm going to take this opportunity to extend, get some distance, reset, and maybe get some shots on him. So here I go. I'm starting to climb. I'm going to start my... I'm going to loop back into him, try to get some guns on. Maybe take him out of this game. So 
Here I go. He's gonna, he's in a pretty steep climb, so if I can get close, he won't be able to move too much yet at my guns. He, I'm looking to see if anyone else is coming. I don't see any dots. And here's where he turns into me. I know he's down. There's no point in pushing that hut on. Uh, I'm gonna try to get him to overshoot and pull up into my guns here. He makes the wrong decision. And I should have pulled up all the way there because he got close to getting his guns on me. I'm pulling up. Trying to be able to just get my guns on him. I'm losing a lot of speed here. Uh, unfortunate. Those look really close. And now I'm in a really bad spot. I'm going to be stalling out right under him. Not too good. So I'm going to nose out. Nose down. And one shot fire. That typically happens. I don't know why. He uh, messed up here pretty bad. Because he thought I was dead. I probably would have left me too, but kind of got lucky with that shot really a one shot fire is kind of annoying but whatever he should not have left me there should have made sure the fire was still burning or put himself in a position to better dodge my shots i get some hits it's kind of funny i find it ironic that my hits are just hits with 420 millimeters and i, I think that was just a 7.92 that set me on fire so whatever not gonna be salty i need to dive out here get some speed to be able to maneuver on his next pass. I don't think I did too much damage to him. He's catching me here in the dive. And I probably should have turned earlier here. But I'm, I'm trying to get him with a lucky shot with my guns. Uh, again, I can't really aim too well with the turrets. He's in a pretty ideal spot, but then he dives out. And now I'm in a little bit of trouble, so I need to turn quick. PBJ is coming in. I don't know how much of a help he will be. I try to level up, give him the smallest profile. Pull up. He's right there, real close. You can see the pods on him. Ooh, just misses wingtip. This thing has pretty good flaps and has uh, decently good low speed maneuverability, especially when you drop those flaps, although they rip really easily. So I can manage to stay in that before, or for long enough to where you can't do much. Couple shots. There we go, he's dead. Okay. At this point, I'm low on fuel, oil leaking, low on ammo, and I need to RTB. Uh, so that's where I'm heading right now. Uh, change of plans. A few seconds here, you'll see why. There's a 190 at relatively high altitude. That guy wasn't too happy about me killing him like that, so he's going to be friendly in the chat. Uh... I need to dive under this 190 to keep him from getting a good angle on me. Hoped he'd commit there because he may have compressed into the ground. I'm going to try to... Thought about pulling for some shots. I level out and I head back to the base. I really need some... I really need RTB. I'm trying to keep him at an angle to where I have enough room to cut back in. Under him. But he makes that turn. And I'm really hoping he doesn't just slot under my 6 right here, which he... Does not do the thing down. He goes for the PB J. Sorry. And doesn't actually do anything to him. He just extends out, which gave me a really good chance to make a run back to the airfield. I'm just gonna uh, spray a little bit just in case. You never know. Uh now it's the landing game. I hope to not get strafed in, so. Heading back to my base. I hope the PBJ would kind of go somewhere else, lead him away, but it doesn't look like it's going to be the case. Here I check how I got three kills. I don't really remember getting three kills, but I got three one of nines at some point in this game. He, he's staying close, so I'm not sure if I'll get strafed or not. I do need to land ASAP, regardless of whether or not he's going to strafe. I have 64 rounds, which is probably enough, but I also have an oil leak and I'm very low on fuel. No web, so... Worst case scenario to be in this plane. I'm gonna try to land it. Quite a bit of damage. Still flies okay. Uh, other than barely having fuel. Here I'll give you a showcase of how good the air brakes on this thing work. You can pretty much stall you in level flight if you drop these air brakes. So here we go. Boring landing. There we 
was I got really slow there. I'm not sure how. I, I dropped the throttle and it just really slowed me down. So I'm about to drop gear and the air brake. There we go. And I'm landing, I'm landing. I looked away for a second. Oh wait, too fast. Boom. Dead. <laughs> yep. Good job. At this point, I'm in a little bit of disbelief of what happened and that I don't get a repair. I kind of figured I wouldn't after how much damage, but whatever. Now I'm just looking around. See the PBJ? He's going to take a rough lane too. Somehow his plane doesn't explode. <laughs> if only that had happened to mine. This may have been a different game. So, that's about it for this one, I guess. Oh wait, surprise 190, he's gonna, <laughs> he's a little late to the party. I don't believe he's actually gonna strafe at this point. Until he gets to about within two kilometers, I notice he's actually committing. And I'm gonna, I'm not gonna bail out, I'm gonna shoot at him at this point. He's gonna get this close and try to strafe like that. Lots of sparks, lots of hits. And I get some couple more shots in him. And he's too far. And I take a... Oh. I decide that this game's a wash. Oh, wait. I think AAA must have hit him there and killed him. And gave me the kill, which... Uh, it was worth staying in the plane for those extra 30 seconds, I guess. Uh, That about wraps it up. There's only a, a bomber, or two bombers, and I possibly a fighter left in. I'm not carrying it from the airfield, and I don't think this guy will carry it either. So I'm going to hop out of this game, and I'll see you guys in the next one.